So there were two Sonic cartoons in the 90s. I remember them. Do you know who... One of them was good, one was bad. And in the bad one, do you remember who voiced Sonic? I do, because I was on a podcast where I found this out. Uh, Urkel. Yeah, yeah, The guy yeah. who played Urkel. And they were, they're going, what? What? <laughs> uh, for, for, for... Did I go fast? <laughs> Was it said the Simpsons? The, a- the alien has a sweet angelic voice, like Urkel. <laughs> he comes out every Friday night, like, like Urkel. Urkel. Welcome to Gaming for Laughs. I'm Will Preston, stand-up comedian, geek, and avid gamer. In each episode of Gaming for Laughs, I play video games with some absolutely hilarious comedians, some of whom have never, ever played games before. But this week, I'll be playing the brilliant remake, well, sort of remake, uh, Sonic Mania, with my old friend and stand-up comedian, James Cartwright. Uh, there are actually a lot of people that believe that antidepressants don't do anything, uh, that they're a placebo. I don't know about you, but when I listen to placebo, I get more depressed! Me <laughs> 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 oh, It's nice telling that joke to a room of people born before 1995. <laughs> it does not work at the student shows. <laughs> James is a good friend of mine. We used to run a podcast together called Take On Meme, where we talked about memes. Clues in the name, really. Uh, We'll hopefully be back soon with more episodes of that. Uh, And we had so much fun playing Sonic Mania. I I, I fanboyed a bit. I used to play Sonic the Hedgehog all the time in the 90s as a child. And, uh, yeah, I had to go out and buy it myself after we played this. This is also filmed back in my old flat in Bermondsey, uh, just in case you're wondering where that horrible sofa came from. But uh, yes, enjoy. The game I mean, not the sofa. Oh, this is my childhood! Ah! Okay, do I use the sticks? Uh, oh yeah. my god, it's Sonic 3, isn't it? Ooh. Like uh, 90s, 90s Japanese hip hop style. Yeah. Well, oh, is he stealing the Master Emerald? Oh, uh, well, kind of. Is it not Robotnik? It is. Oh, those are Robotnik bots. Yeah, but where's Robotnik? He's usually there laughing at me. Uh, oh my god, it's got into Twin Peaks mode. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a film called Ladybugs? No, no, no. Uh, it? it was a film in like 92 with Rodney Dangerfield. Uh, Rod! Oh, oh, no respect! But uh, he was coaching it, um, uh, coaching a, a teenage girl's soccer yeah. team, which is just weird. But uh, it, it was on a podcast uh, called "How Do you, How Did This Get Made?" Yeah. <laughs> and they were saying that you could stop it at any point, and it just looked like a Twin Peaks because <laughs> it's, it's so surreal and weird. Oh my god, that's pounding! Yeah. <laughs> that was quite. Oh, you prick! Have you seen the steamed hams version of this? <laughs> so, like, to be fair, there's pretty much a steamed hams for everything now. It's just <laughs> steamed hams uh, feel good ink ink on. Uh, oh, that's that was good. And I've been listening listen to that four times yesterday. So I fucking love it. Have you? If you type steamed hams into YouTube, there's about two hundred and fifty thousand results. As it should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just honestly, uh, I saw um uh, steamed hams, but if uh, Superintendent Chalmers was a blade from. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the first line was originally, uh, well, I made it seem more, um, it, it, it's, uh, well, I hope you're ready for an unforgettable dinner. Yeah. And, it, and obviously in the final thing, it's luncheon, and someone put a comment being like, well, we were nearly denied, we were nearly denied forgettable luncheon, life wouldn't have been worth living. <laughs> uh, unforgettable lunch. Definitely my favourite um, Sonic song. What's my favourite? I, I think one of my favourite Sonic songs uh, was... You say Chemical Plant, I will slap you. Why? It's not, but why? Actually, um, it's... Everyone always cites that as their favourite, and I think it's average at best. It's, 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 it's okay. They never <laughs> explain the context uh, of this level. But the, the bonus levels have no context whatsoever. It's like, what happened? Well, I went into a portal and had to run down a chute and collect rings and avoid spiky balls. You're, you're complaining about the lack of context in a game where the protagonist is a blue hedgehog. A fast blue hedgehog, yeah. Oh, you did it! Boom, boom. I am lost. These levels are the worst levels to be lost in! Uh, right. Oh, it's so tense. It's so tense. 
I know, because also I'm at high speed and I could die at, well, I say die. You don't die in bonus levels in these games, you just get asked to leave. Oh my lord, did you see that? Yeah. I fucking burnt the shit out of that! Yeah, motherfuckers gotta watch out where they're going. <laughs> oh, burning bridges. Burning bridges there, Will. Oh, I Metaphorically. Thought, I thought of an awful pun yesterday. Go on. I've, like, had, I've had some awful ones last night. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I got a job selling bicycles. Yeah. So now I'm a bike peddler. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Sonic's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> like, the robot looks like a cross between Robotnik and Nigel Thornsey, though. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you know what Tails' name is? Miles Tails Prower. Yeah. Miles Prower! Do you get it? No! After all these fucking years! I oh, know. <laughs> That's so bad! <laughs> I know! Will's reliving his childhood a little bit too hard for my liking. If he, if he drowns in this one, I'm gonna cry. Well. Come on! Yeah, fine. Fine. Come on, it's like Miami Sound Machine or some shit. What the fuck is that? Um, it's like, it's I mean, like, this makes no sense. It's like, let's make a chemical plant with well, fucking things. Well, that's how, I mean, have you never been inside a factory? That's what it's like. That's what it's like, there's blue Spiders work. and <laughs> there's blue ooze everywhere. Techno and, music. <laughs> yeah. We work hard. We play, play hard. hard. Everybody dance now! <laughs> Oh, oh. oh good. what are you talking about, Homer? The whole steel industry's gay. <laughs> you know what else? <laughs> Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the 90s was very boring. All we really had was Limp Biscuit and the Labour Party. <laughs> Biscuit! That was cruel. Like, there could have been a warning sign, fucking chemical plant owner. This doesn't meet health and safety standards. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, uh, this is what happens to chemical plant after Brexit. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Uh. Well, this... Yeah, this is this is a factory without any of the human rights the European Union wants us to have. What is this lamppost? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the lamppost of the future. Lamppost <laughs> of the future. Got to be gyroscopic. Gyroscopes. <laughs> Pink pot. Is that a TV shop or a robot brothel? Did it, wait, does it get transferred via yes. TV signals? Yes. You are analog TV. Oh my god, this is stuck in the 90s, because there's CRT monitors everywhere. Well, I believe it's also the science behind uh, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory turning the... <laughs> <laughs> when he, uh, with Mike TV. Getting... Yeah, get, get... but no, I'm going to come out really small, yeah. aren't I? Yeah, is and that then, not and... the most redundant science ever? What is? Um... Well, because they, they, they bring in that giant chocolate bar, don't they? And it's huge, and then they make yeah. it tiny. Yeah, so they can get out your screen. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I, you know, a lot of people try and solve world hunger. They're trying to cause it. <laughs> so we we need to get this massive slab of chocolate. Oh my god, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I used to Willy Wanker, am I right? Yeah, am I right? I used to call it Seven for kids because all the all the what? kids. You, you know, in the film Seven. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. all the all the people in Seven are killed off. Uh, in, in ways related to their sins, yeah. and all the kids in the Willy Wonka factory are, are punished based on their sins. So it's seven who, for kids. Who would have thought that Kevin Spacey would turn out to be worse than his character in Seven? <laughs> oh man, Kevin it's Spacey's uh, gonna be the if, butt of jokes. If years only he'd only done seven crimes. <laughs> but oh, what's in the box? It's like it's not someone's <laughs> head. It's uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a letter well, saying I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> or his dick. Or both. Oh god, Kevin Spit. It's, uh, what was it? Um, Peter uh, Serafinowicz did a sketch where he oh, um, pretended to be Kevin Spacey. And he made Kevin Spacey out to be this really psychotic guy. And it was like, I never really truly got it. And then I watch it now and go, oh fuck, he knew something. The he thing is, you know the, um, you know the apology where he came, uh, at first he was like, I don't remember this incident, but if I behaved that way, yeah. then uh, I often get the sincerest of apologies. It's like, you probably don't remember it because there are so fucking many. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So someone was telling me at work the other day, uh, their friend works as a nurse. Mm. And apparently it's quite common. I mean, not, not every week, mm. but in hospitals for People, you know, obviously stuff gets stuck in anuses. People put anything up there. Oh, there's God. like actually gerbils. a trend. There's actually a trend of people putting gerbils, hamsters, and rats inside condoms and then shoving them in their asses. Seriously, not like, hedgehogs, uh, hopefully. No, <laughs> one hopes. Really? Um, but, but honestly, they, yeah, they were saying this with no hint of. I can't remember. Oh, it was because I was talking about the guy I saw have sex with a Pringles can, and then they contributed that 
Um, but apparently there's a term for it, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, people... Is it, is it Richard shove... Gearing? <laughs> <laughs> but people shove these poor animals up their asses, which sounds horrible to me, because an ass is quite tight. It, uh, like, it's, I struggle it... to get a finger up there on a good day. I... <laughs> I I I I've been I've I've had I've been for uh, washing purposes. I want to clarify. Uh, no, I I I have had stuff done sex for sexual purposes. Uh, it was interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's um, yeah. I can't imagine get uh, and I feel sorry for the for the fucking thing in there because it'd be like, oh my god, it smells. Yeah. It, and it's. Well, uh, I'm surprised it doesn't get clawed. Okay. Well, that's apparently that's the pleasurable bit. If it's inside the combo, it just feels like it's uh, wriggling about. To me, it sounds very dangerous. I, 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 it's not the oh god, you can't. You, how can you get off doing that? Because I totally understand how you can get off doing that. Yeah, but yeah. Barbie's going. <laughs> Barbie's going. What? The, the kind of think of the poor mouse or yeah, whatever. I know. I know. In the age of animatronics, you think? You think do you think, you think that, we oh, can at least do? Do you think that's going to be a thing now? Instead of like you know, sex robots, we're going to have sex mice. You can have sex with. Uh, honestly, I think that would be um, there a is good idea. No limits to human deprivation. Uh, de not, not deprivation. De de depravity. Depravity. Yeah. Depravity. Yeah, yeah. I think um, human depravity is one of those infinite things. You know, like human yeah. stupidity. Yeah, but as long as it's in an environment that no one's been hurt, yeah. I'm awful. I'm like, do what you want. Yeah, um, I, I, that's the that's the thing. That's, I, I think they should do robot nice stuff. They can poke your bum. <laughs> That's, that quote is going to come a, back to haunt me. That's the Kickstarter we need. <laughs> Kickstarter. <laughs> Fund our robot butt sex mice. Sex mice, but... but you, you know what I mean. I think we'll leave that in name to marketing. Oh, <laughs> well, you know in Cinderella they turn into horses. Oh. God, that's imagine... Steve, the, uh, yeah, no, we Steve didn't Trumbull's in... looking at us right now thinking, well, mate, don't have sex with those horse, well, mouse no, horses. I was going to be like, well, instead of like turning them into horses, just be like, well, you couldn't get the prince, so instead we've got you the... <laughs> we took the mice into dildos. <laughs> Oh, mate! Glass one. We need to see if it fits. Oh, mate! That's just <laughs> <laughs> there's 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 an element of brilliance to that. <laughs> well, I mean that's pretty much how I sum up my life. There's an element of brilliance. There's but an not element enough to carry me to success. I know, but you're looking at that going, Jesus, I have to wait for a whole lot of shit. You know? Oh God. Oh man, that's brilliant. Basically, a big aircraft carrier in the sky, and I love it. Okay, I mean it. Much like chemical plant, though, it doesn't look like it meets many health and safety. Doctor uh, Robotnik is a is a Brexiteer. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think you're gonna. Yeah. Like if, you, if you sign up to work for one of these, you know, also what's the job gonna be? I'm gonna be a robot mouse. Robot mouse. Uh, where are you gonna work? Next to the flames. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I forgot about that. They go down. But if you hold this down, boing. It's like, well, um, Mr. Robotnik, have we? Are, do we need the flames to be open? Well, yes. What if the hedgehog? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what hedgehog? What? It's blue! What, what, He's got shoes! He what, goes fast! What, what hedgehog? Yeah, so what, why do we... What, what is the purpose of this airship? Well, because of the hedgehog! Hedgehog! A, a hedgehog might come here. How is a hedgehog going to get up here? I don't know. Well, if he beats me at three other stages, one of which is a is kind of a glorified grabbing machine and we're dropping beans on each other. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> because, like, the thing is, Dr. Fortney has no other... Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm back here. Oh, fuck. He has no other employees apart from fucking, you know... Animatronics. Yeah. He's he's a very lonely billionaire, I feel. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he genetically made Sonic just so he had something to do. Doctor Robotnik is what happens when Elon Musk finally loses his mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the end of SpaceX. This is what <laughs> This is what we've fucking building up to. Oh, no. oh oh I got it right. Oh fuck 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 ah! But the thing is, like, if Elon is... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing. No, no, it's fine. Elon, Elon is sometimes great, but then sometimes... Have you ever heard it when he goes on to his weird rambles? Yeah. Like, so, I mean, he, he's a full uh, purporter of the... Um, that we live in a simulation kind of thing. Which I, I kind of agree with, because right. statistically it makes sense. Really? But, well, yeah, so, and I'll explain in a minute. But when he starts going on all these things, he can get a bit, like, conspiracy mm. But, um, no, with the we're living in a simulation thing, it does make sense, because... Okay. So, um... Tell, talk me through it. While, yeah. we, while we live in a simulation... Oh, God, this is awful. Okay, yeah, so, so it would be um, that ultimately all technology will, will get to a point where you can synthesise your existence. Yeah. Um, and because if you synthesise an existence, it basically means that it's easier than... Because you can control it, it's yeah. better than the existence that is. Yeah. And basically, once you've created that technology, 
you can keep digging down and digging down and digging down. Mm. Um, but you just keep creating simulations because if it gets to the point where it's emulating life, you're not mm. going to know the difference between the two. So, so basically, yeah. it's more statistically likely that you would make a simulation and then it goes down, 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 and down. So we're a simulation within a simulation within a simulation ad infinitum um. than to actually just be in the real world because ultimately technology will always get to that point. So Will the simulation still have Mrs. Brown's boys? Oh, well, unfortunately, yeah, they haven't worked out all the kinks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Do you remember, oh, Michael Gove posted a tweet about a year ago saying, oh, Mike, Mrs. Brown's boy is pure genius. Oh, fucking like, hell. Clearly his PR person was like, oh, what do the, uh, what do, what do the working class like? Michael's like, I... Pure genius. Yeah. I know. It's a fucking guy in a wig, sometimes fluffing his lines, going, ah, feck it, I forgot me fucking lines. Yeah. It's like, Jesus Christ, just watch an episode of Father Ted, that's genius. Yeah. Well, my mum tried to get me to watch it because she was saying oh it's the new Father Ted no it's, it's like, not no Father Ted is intrinsically clever social satire what have you done I've broken the level <laughs> oh nice oh well done I'm nice going save and, be a, and it's like well no because Father Ted is just in br brilliant it's one of the best sitcoms ever made yeah um but it's because it's got it's got a point mm. like it's it's horrible. yeah well done you got the uh, got all the rings gold um, but it's uh, Mrs. Brown's boys is fucking diarrhea for the brain. It's Mrs. Brown's not like having diarrhea, but eating it. <laughs> eating it. <laughs> you gain nothing. There is no nutritional value that from reminds... eating diarrhea. That is Mrs. Brown's boys. That, that reminds me of a similar line from Father Ted. It's like turn that TV off, Dougal. It was a chewing gum for the eyes. Oh no, thanks, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, Father Ted has so many great lines. There's one line that always made me laugh. Uh, and it was just the way it was delivered, I think, was the best, the, the, the reason why. Yeah. He's like, oh, Italians, Ted, they're good at a lot of football and a lot of fashion. God, Ted, remember that fella that was so good at fashion they had to shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? I just, oh, yeah. yeah. Is that the football episode? That's the, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, what's it? Uh, Over 80s. Uh, 80s uh, priests, football. five a side competition. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, Mrs. Brown's Boys is just, I've, I remember people telling okay. me it's good, and I watch it and go, uh, there's, there's a bit. Um, my favourite bit in Father Ted is uh, where the, the, you know the Chris episode with the sheep. Oh, and, <laughs> and, and, you and when they're uh, when they're on uh, at the end of the episode when they're uh, revealing who the bad guy is, and, <laughs> and all the people kind of go, like, oh no, no, and there's a guy who's like, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my mum oh. constantly laugh at that bit, and even my mum's going, fucking hell. <laughs> I, I do it all the time in crowds and stuff. If, if people are mumbling in my head, I'll be like, oh, fucking hell, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> That bit's so perfect. The way it's like, oh, fuck it, hell. Yeah. Oh. And it's a fucking sheep competition. It's like, I know. Oh god. It's so and, then, and then the end of the episode, they try and hibernate with the boxes. <laughs> <They're not laughs> the oh god. I, oh yeah. Sorry, we're talking about Father Ted while watching oh. a blue hedgehog. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're playing Sonic as well. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, I could. Oh, I could uh, talk Father Ted all day. Well, if you, uh, one of the things that got me into comedy was uh, Richard Herring's Lesser Square Theatre podcast, and I will fight with fists, hands down. The best episode <laughs> is the Gray Linderman, Amando Nucci one because it's perfect. Everything that happens in the episode is short. Nothing short. Oh, fuck it out. Nothing short <laughs> perfection. Fuck oh. you, rings. Fucking twats. But yeah, everything that happens in the episode is perfect. I'm not going to go for that again. I'm oh. sick of that shit. I've listened to a few of them. I've not listened to that episode. I'll listen to it on the way home. Seriously, right, please, mate. Yeah. I st I've listened to it about 20 times now, and I still crack up. Yeah. Do you, um... Have you ever listened to You Made It Weird? Oh, that rings a bell. No, I haven't. It's, um... So it's a Ow. comedian called Pete Fuck. Holmes. I didn't realise that happened now. Uh, comedian called Pete Holmes. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, yeah. But he has these, like... You can move the spot. What?! Oh, didn't know that. No. Well, that's, that's how you. That's why uh, I kill some moods. Ah, I know my shit. Whoa! This yeah. is from Sonic. No, oh, what? They made this for this. Oh, so no, no, no. This is actually these. based on Sonic CD, but they changed it. What were you going to say? Uh, yeah, he's got this podcast called You Made It Weird, which is basically three-hour conversations with musicians and comedians. Yeah. And like, it's kind of cool because about an hour, everyone's kind of got their stories and their yeah. pre-prepared press things. But after about three hours, yeah. like, it's just talking. It's organic. Like, like, like Richard Herring. Yeah, he, yeah, he has exactly, emergency yeah. questions. I love it. Yeah. You ever seen a ghost? <laughs> I, I find it's a bit more freeform than Richard Herring. Oh, good. I, I like Richard Herring's, but I prefer this one. Yeah. Um, it just Pete is so good at just getting stuff out of people. Yeah. And he's so happy and nice. 
Um, but he's the guy that played, uh, you know, the college humour Batman videos. Oh, he yeah. played Batman in those. Oh, it's yeah. always joking. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's cool. <laughs> where are the drugs going? <laughs> What's that from? What's that? Who's it's that? one of the videos where he's like trying to figure out his bat voice. Where are and, the drugs go? And, what am I supposed to do? Catch a UFO? Yeah, so you get the the, the the blue things make you go faster, and the rings give you more time. <sighs> For fuck's sake, this is really ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to win, am I? Yeah, the first one's quite easy. I think you'll be fine. See? You're catching it up. Um, but yeah, the, he's he's like, where are the drugs going? And the criminal's like, what? What? Why are you talking like that? And he's like, well, you know, I, I thought bats. Hi. <laughs> so, like, so nice. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes through all the different uh, like voices and doing like Malkovich and uh, like Malkovich. Uh, uh, John Malkovich. How's John Malkovich? Where point? are the drugs going? Fuck face. <laughs> It's a really good video. Like, check uh, it out. Yeah, because yeah. like, John Malkovich doesn't have one of those voices that you instantly, you know, he's not one of the obvious impression voices. That makes oh, sense. He do, he pulls it off in the video. Oh, I need like, to see straight that. away. You'd be like, yep, that's yes, John Malkovich. Malkovich. Yeah, because yeah. people go go for the obvious impressions all the time. Like Pierre Serafinovich is good at impressions. He does a brilliant uh, David Lynch impression where he's like, I want to make a film that had the exact same uh, experience as having diarrhea. <laughs> it's like that's David Lynch. Brilliant. I um, is this the first time or second? Oh. oh fuck! I don't remember this. Oh. They've changed the boss. This is fucking Star Wars. True. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what was I going to say? The... Oh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I, I, I watched a bit of Con Air the other day. Oh, and, classic, um, yeah. There's a bit where uh, one of the criminals is going to... He's standing in all this jet fuel. And uh, <laughs> because uh, he, there's something went wrong. And he's trying to talk to John Malkovich, who's called Cyrus the Virus. Cyrus the Virus, yeah. And uh, he's trying to be like, Cy, come on, Cy. And he says, Cy, one more time. And John Malkovich just goes... Anara, and then oh. flicks a cigarette into the jet fuel. Oh, that's and it is bad. so tacky. It's so funny. That film is tacky. I mean, what was that music? That that song they they, they did to the film. That awful fucking song. That romantic I song. It's like I'm a or something. Or something. Something that was really tacky '90s love song. That was the theme to that film. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh wow, this is getting. Oh, that was. But, but what? Uh, it's honestly one of Nicolas Cage's like most down. Like his calmest performances, which is oh. funny because if you said like, "Oh yeah, Nicolas Cage on a plane full of convicts," you'd be like, "Well, he's going to be PK." <laughs> JPC. He goes, "Tell me what I need to know." <laughs> oh no, I can't do a Nicolas Cage. I, I can. I can. Oh, 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 Nicolas Cage like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but no, in that he's just like a back in the box. <laughs> So we're now at the set next bit. I don't know how big this fucking aircraft carrier is. This aircraft aircraft carrier. Uh, yeah, Nicholas Cage is fucking hell. Right. He does. He loves doing shit films, doesn't he? Um, oh, what the hell's here? Oh, <gasps> oh, this didn't happen. I've gone the outside of the ship now. Ooh, this you're is better exciting. at falling stuff than me. I just kind of get the fuck away. That was from Sonic 2. Sorry, yeah. Carry. I didn't even. So when earlier, when you were on the first level, I didn't even flag that we were inside a cave. I just kind of look at Sonic mm. and look at the obstacles. I don't notice the context very well. One of the greatest things about the old Sonic games is the uh, scenery. The mm. uh, scenery in the background as you run through, sometimes things change, yeah. and you get this lovely uh, sense of progression. Oh, fuck the bed. This is great. Oh, no, this is... They've pinched this from Sonic 2. They, so they've actually combined levels. This is genius. This is... Mate, mate, you know that fucking Citizen Kane? That's fucking balls compared to this. This is fucking top notch. Oh. No, I just, <laughs> what? No, no, no. In my head, I was just thinking like, for some reason, because you know, you've got rose blood, and for rose some reason, blood. I was thinking like a really chavy bird, like rose blood. <laughs> oh, you! F oh, that's. I can't actually decide if that's good or bad. Uh, it's good. Good bad. Good, good bad. Good bad. Have you seen um? Have you seen Kung Pao? Enter the fist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where it's like a, it's a uh, right and wrong, or um, no, it's a uh, bad wrong. It's. Badong. Yes. <laughs> These actions are badong. I, that film, I love that, film. That, that film is like one of a kind because oh, it's like it. no other film did that. Yeah. It's entire film based on old footage they just like voiced over. Oh, kind of like what we're doing here. <laughs> Guilty. Um, the Oh god, it's Wimplow though. It's like <laughs> This is Wimplow. We trained him wrongly. As a joke. <laughs> 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 what is it? Um, face to foot style, how would you like it? Now try my nuts to your fist style! 
Oh, God. Okay, guys, you, you have red clothes now. They love that. They, they, get, they get away with that continuity. I was like, you have red clothes now. Red clothes. He says it really angry. He's like, and now your clothes are red. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Kung Pao. Like, it's yeah. not for everyone. But if you like things like the Naked Gun films yeah. and Airplane, it's just... Wow. Well, the genius thing is it's... As I say, not like any other films, because it's just, it's, it's, it really is, it's just a feature length YouTube video, if oh, anything. Yeah, it is. But it's done well. Yeah. Because it's, um, it's by the guy who directed Ace Ventura and Nature Calls. Oh, okay. I, 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 I don't know if you should be admitting to that or not. Oh, hello. I, I tell you what, I think when Nature Calls mm. isn't a good film, but it has the best Ace jokes. Whereas I think Ace Ventura is a better film, but it's not actually as funny as you remember. And also yeah. very transphobic. Very, very transphobic. Very, they they, very, they very. even mentioned that in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's like, you know, it's one of my favorite car films Ace Ventura has detected, despite the transphobic ending. It's like, yeah, yeah it's very transphobic. Um, yeah, but like, when Nature Calls isn't a good film, but it has all of Ace's best jokes. It really like... does, doesn't it? <laughs> like a glove! <laughs> We did that in the first one, but they really improved it yeah, in the yeah, second yeah. one. <laughs> Nonsense, poopy pants! Nonsense, poopy pants! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he... It's so quotable. Yeah. Uh... Have you ever seen much of Jim Carrey's old stand up? <sighs> I'm not a big fan of his old stand up. So, some of it is good. When, what? Like... Did I lose? Yeah, he lost. Um, what? When he's just on all the face stuff, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Yeah. But when he's actually writing jokes, he's got some really good jokes. Like, I, I, one he, of them is like, uh, "Don't you, don't you know when you, you, you know when you're having a threesome?" And then the ugly one turns to you and says, "Save some for me." <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> I, "I was convinced." Sorry, <laughs> mum. <laughs> He has a certain style about him. I mean, oh God! Uh, the, I, I don't know if, if I can really talk talk high about him these days because of the whole accidentally killing his girlfriend. No, I no. I mean, uh, he's been acquitted. What happened? What happened? Well, exactly, we don't know, and he's been acquitted. So just, mm. I think we have to take that. Yeah, value. and and he's and he's taking it hard. You can tell he's taking it hard. He's gone really existential yeah, yeah. lately. Mm. Yeah. Um. I was listening to oh actually you made it weird uh, the podcast was saying mm. uh, Penn Jillette from Penn and Teller was on there yeah and he was talking about Jim Carrey and he was saying oh he'd met him recently and seen him on a lot of um, yeah. seen the Jim and Andy thing of the Netflix and yeah. he was saying he couldn't believe like how forward thinking uh, he's become and how Jim Carrey might actually become one of the biggest thinkers of our time really so some, yeah he was he said he couldn't believe it either but the depth to which Jim is starting to talk now he's very he's he, the way when he, met, when he had that supposed breakdown yeah. at the office it really wasn't he was being existential and yeah, it's like yeah. would you want the quick soundbite Jim can you can you just say hey happy to be here yeah. no he goes deep into your soul yeah but yeah um, um I um I was going to say what were you going to say well I'm nervous about the time now because uh well, we've got about, you've got to finish this level. I've got to finish this level, man. Come on. Go, don't, go. Don't, don't mention oh, well. the time. Don't break the illusion on, that we're all like, on the fly of this. <gasps> Ooh, how long have this level been going on? Because usually you do these in a couple of minutes. Well, 438. Fucking right hell. Down. This is a long level. And I haven't died yet. Oh, stupid fucking flame. I really hate the, the weather in this as well. It's making me feel like, oh, I've got to put a coat on. Hey, I like, I, I, I like to be warm. I like... <laughs> you're watching cold films and you're like, better get my gloves. Better get my gloves. Oh. <laughs> uh, come on, let's get to the boss. Come on. Fucking hedgehog. Oh no, is he gonna. Oh, okay. This is taking a while, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh no, I don't like this. Because now I'm gonna time this. I'm gonna time this. Come on. Oh, they've got a bit of time there. Okay, now we're at the boss. Now we're at the boss. Come on. Come on, what is it? Fucking hell! He's in a spider! Oh, God, this is awful! How do I get him? You can do it. I don't know. I've not got this far. Oh, yeah, I see now. You've got to bash him into the... Oh, God! Oh, no! No, he's got mental! No! That is really cool though. That is actually quite a smart boss. No! Apart from the fucking laser blazer ball spider! What the hell is he doing? He's gone more of a wild world west. <laughs> <laughs> Someone once trolled me by saying what? Somebody, there was no such somebody once trolled you. 
Somebody once trolled me, the world was going crazy. No, he trolled me by saying there was no such thing as steampunk before Wild Wild West. And I, oh, I was so fucking angry. Oh, he's right. <laughs> Don't you fucking start, mate. I, I can, I get... I, I, I'm playing with the controller, but I can slap you like a glove. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, now. Oh, what? This is not fair! Do you have to hit his cockpit or something? You have to hit the, uh, the boingy bit or the cock... Sorry, the boingy bit. Oh, uh, I think... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! yes!